1.0 System Design, Part 17. Data Flow Diagram. Among the other design tools you can use in the logical design of the system is the data flow diagram. Majority of students like to stick to the marking scheme as you might have already noticed apart from the flow chart other design tools are not featured in the marking scheme. Therefore this is to help understand that you can also include other design tools by so doing makes your work unique. 4.1.2 Data Flow Diagram In this part we focusing on the data flow diagram. We are still looking at system design which lies in Chapter 4. Earlier on we looked at the system flowchart which is still under system design in the Chapter 4. System flowchart was covered in Chapter 4 of the previous parts of this video series in this channel. If you missed check it up. 4.1.2 Data Flow Diagram A data flow diagram is a tool that graphically shows flow of data in the system. Data Flow Diagrams DFD, are used to represent the flow of data in a system. They show the inputs, outputs, and processes involved in the system, as well as the flow of data between these elements. DFDs can be used to help identify potential problems with data flow, and to ensure that data is being properly processed and utilized throughout the system. 4.1.2A Data Flow Diagram has its own set of symbols. The following are symbols used when drawing a context diagram, sync. This is an entity symbol used to show inputs and outputs. This is a process symbol used to show processing activities. This is an arrow symbol used to show direction of flow of data. Storage symbol, extensive processing symbol, 4.1.2 data flow diagram, case study I. To develop a computerized vendor web system that will maintain the list of vendors, recruit and approve new vendors, manage marketing on the web and supply stock to vendors. It should compute the overall results, and generate reports of the elections. The system should have the following. Input forms for entering the required details. Should maintain records of current vendors, potential vendor requests and approve new vendors. Process vendor stock request and marketing on the web. Generate reports of vendors, stock, requests. 4.1.2 Data Flow Diagram. Case Study I. Vendor Web System Data Flow Diagram, DFD. 4.1.2 Sample 1. Maringo Sports Club Data Flow Diagram. Register. Member. M-A-R-I-N-G-O Sports Club. System. Cell. Item. Facilitate, event, borrow, return, equipment, item sales files, borrow, return files, events, games files, club member files, membership fee files, member registration, update sales, total sales calculations, return equipments, borrowing equipments, booking, patrons commission, facilitation, fees. The diagram shows the main processes in the system and the flow of data between them. The processes include Register Member. This process handles the registration of new members, capturing their personal details, interests, and special needs. The process also calculates the membership fee based on whether the member is an individual or part of a group. Sell Item. This process handles the sale of sports items from the club store. It calculates the total price of the items, including any applicable discounts, and updates the store's inventory. Facilitate Event This process is responsible for organizing and facilitating events within and outside the club. It calculates the facilitation fee based on the number of external teams involved in the Patron's Commission. It also selects a team captain responsible for borrowing and returning sports equipment from the store. Borrow Return Item this process handles the borrowing and returning of sports equipment by team captains. It ensures that the equipment is in good condition and updates the store's inventory accordingly. Generate Report This process generates various reports based on the data stored in the system, including membership information, store sales, and event facilitation fees. The diagram also shows the various data stores used in the system, including the member database, item inventory, and event facilitation records.
the end. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for part 18 on the entity relationship diagram still under design tools used in the system design. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if the video was helpful to get notifications once we upload more videos on Moringo Sports Club.